Researchers in the Great Smoky Mountains are trying to solve a mystery. They want to know what happens to bears. They relocate from the park to the Cherokee National Forest. 10 News reporter Jim Matheny shows us a big project is getting a head start to track the bears every move. You want to see the video? That's how food conditioned this animal was. It was coming right up to our vehicle. The only option we have with that kind of bear is to move it to another location. In the Great Smoky Mountains, Chief Biologist Bill Stiver says every year they relocate around 10 bears that are causing problems out of the park and into the national forest. But after that, for most of them, it's a mystery. 74% of the bears we can't account for. The park received funding for a big research project that begins in 2021 to track the bears with GPS collars. But Stiver's getting a head start with a practice pilot study this summer. And so I'm gonna show you two bears both of which were caught out in Cades Cove. Both bears were females. Both were released in the same spot in the Cherokee National Forest, and the first bear made a beeline back home. Right through downtown Gallenberg, and it went right back to where we caught it. Some bears are able to do that. But the second bear made some bizarre tracks. So this bear took off south. It crossed I-40 three times, and it goes over to Waynesville. This is the Walmart in Waynesville. As it turned out, this was like a thicket of blackberries. Comes back north towards Bryson City, over towards Almond, continues north, swims across Fontana Lake, crosses the Appalachian Trail, goes up and goes through uh, the west side of Pigeon Forge, crosses Chapman Highway, crosses Highway 66, circles back around over here towards Cosby, re enters the park here at Cosby, passes by Smoke Mock Campground, uh, Lefty Visitor Center goes through Cherokee, and then keeps going south. Female black bears normally stay within six square miles, but in two months, this bear has roamed more than 215 miles and counting. While it's still early, the preliminary data shows just how much we have to learn. What happens to relocated bears? Well, you know, hopefully this, this project will help answer those questions. Reporting in the Great Smoky Mountains, I'm Jim Matheny.